What's up, modern steaders? Today we got the boss with us to help us put the strap in on the other side of the house. It's crazy what a difference a day can make in the weather. I got a sweatshirt on today and I'm a little chilly and a little stuffed up. It feels like it's fall. I think it feels like it's fall time. Mm -hmm. it's weird time. It's like it's time to go back to school. You looking forward to going back to school? Mm -hmm. Olivia gets to start school pretty soon and she's all excited. She loves school and she loves to learn. You ready to get started? All right. I'm gonna hold this one up in place. For a minute. Do I want to? What's that? Do I want to? Yeah. Are you gonna put it on the ground or as high as that one? Gonna be low in the middle, but I gotta get it set up. I'm gonna put it up and hold it. Come here. Oh, in the middle. One nail. One. This. Go. One more. Awesome. Let's go do the other end. Careful. Yep. Good job. All right, let's go for now. I gotta get some spacers two. in. It's That's enough two. for now. Stand up on the side. Then you do it. Just like that. Oh, Daddy. Okay, come to you. Okay, well, it's pushing my board. We can pick this up and the board will come back in place. Lower it down. Okay, we stand up. Okay. On F4. No, it's 4 too. Why, is it, why did that happen? Okay, hold on. I gotta push it towards you. Uh, okay. Alright. Okay. Push it in while you nail it. Okay, that's easy. Finger off the trigger for a minute, until we're ready. I don't think it won't work when it's not on. Pressure. It won't. Yep. I want to try it by myself. Yep. Yeah, push it tight up against. Yep. That was kind of fun. Awesome. It was fun, but like the cold air, like. Up it blows on you, huh? Yeah. Like, go for a minute. Because uh, I want to show something. So, like Olivia was saying, if she just pulls the trigger, nothing happens. The gun has to be pushed, and if you watched, if you watch, it's got a safety that gets pushed in, and it releases the trigger, and then you can hit a nail. Without that pushed in, nothing happens. So it's a safety feature to the gun. All right, you ready to give me a hand with the last one you can reach with? Get it in place, and you can help. Yep. No, that's not enough. We did five in the middle. Right, it's not enough room on the end to do what we did, because... 
Oh yeah, because it was. Because we want to do one, two, three, four, five. Now you got the proper air protection on. Awesome. I wanted this to come out too, but you didn't let me. You only did it on one. Good job. Good job. The boss left us. She said she went as high as she could go and we could finish up the job. She had to go inside and do paperwork. <laughs> Who does she think she is? We're going to be able to start siding this pretty soon. There's a lot of people saying we're using way too many nails and we're wasting them. I don't think so. And you're not buying them anyway. No. This is all rough sawn lumber and a lot of it's green so it's going to be drying. And if it's in the sun, the sun's going to want to pull it and warp it. So I'd rather have more nails on it than not enough and have the boards popping off. And another thing is if you're using plywood, you get more of a sheathing strength. So like this way, where if you're doing boards, you don't have that as much. So I'm nailing them. Kind of do like five in a row so that way it has more holding it so it can't move. We just want to give it as much sheathing strength as we can. If I'm going to spend an extra $30 on nails, I'm going to spend 30 bucks more on nails. I want to make sure this structure lasts us and we don't have to be rebuilding it or fixing it. I was all excited. I thought we were going to be able to start boarding the sidewalls right now. But I got a little bit of ahead of myself and I forgot. Let me show you. We got a side. Let's see if I can get it to come in and focus. We got a side, this little spot first. And then we got to at least put in one soffit board before we can start running our siding up the wall. And same thing over here. We're gonna get a couple of boards of siding up. And then we'll get one soffit board on, and then we can start running our boards up the walls. All right, I think we got everything figured out. If we do, we should have all the boards cut. Well, the pigs will have something nice to look at. They're about the only ones who will see the backside, but it'll be nice for them to gaze at while they're out in the pasture eating apples. We need to find two boards that are around a foot to 11 inches when they're put together. And that'll make, we have a little bit of room to cheat up here. I'll bring it up in a minute to show you. We can cheat them either way so we can get a nice fit. This board might be a little interesting to put up. We're going to find out. Alright, I thought of a 
better, safer way to do this. We're going to make our own little piece of bracing. crashing down and breaking our window because that would not be good tight up against the outside Let's get this board in, then we can work our way down, nailing it all up in place the rest of the way. Now we just need to keep on working up. Now we just need to keep on working our way down the rafter, trying to get the boards as tight as we can. Get our, let's get our last soffit board cut for the side. Get our third hand down, but this brace worked slick. I will tell you, that that uh, that saved a broken window. If it wasn't for that, who knows? We could have had a piece of wood fall down and break the window. Alrighty, where are we? That looks nice. I'm impressed with that soffit. Very happy. So we're gonna have, we got our piece of strap in there, so we're gonna have a piece of siding coming up and covering that little bit of gap right there. So once that's all sided, it's gonna look beautiful. We can't close out today's video without seeing the pigs. Here we go. What are you doing, Mrs. Pigs? What about you, Spot? You coming? Here she comes. Give them some scrap food. That was some nice pasture raised pigs. They're in hog heaven. Scrap food and pasture. Spots is the dominant pig. She gets most of the food and she'll push Mrs. Pigs out of the way and Mrs. Pigs will let her. You're always gonna have one pig that is like that. There's a pecking order with pigs just like there is chickens.
I hope you enjoyed today's video. I hope you enjoyed today's video. If you did, make sure you give it a thumbs up. I was hoping we were gonna get some siding up, but I forgot we had to do the soffit boards. But we got that done, so luckily tomorrow, we'll be starting to side this side of the outdoor kitchen and working on the next side, whether it's just getting this side sided and starting on the soffit boards on the other side tomorrow or if we're gonna get both sides done. Fingers crossed, we'll see. I can't wait to see what this looks like all boarded up with the siding on it. I have the image in my head, but it's gonna be nice to see it in real life. So if you like today's video, make sure you give it a thumbs up, share it, it's really helping the channel grow. We're almost at 10,000 subscribers, and we'll see you right back here tomorrow at Lumna Acres, a guide to modern homesteading, self-sufficiency, and freedom. Bye.